you're dearer measure. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Oh, you're charged with failing to yield the right of way in a crosswalk. Yeah, I think I'm not guilty because I see the, the, the old woman and I see her when she want to try to pass, but she is stopping. When she is stopping, I think she don't want to pass. That's why I'm going. Napoli, and, I, and I'm sorry. I think you should plead not guilty and come back and have a trial. Can you do that? I, when I come back? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't come back because I, I lose hours in my job for I had to come here. I lose hours in my job. What do you do? I am a CNA. C -A -C -A -A. I <laughs> CNA, yeah. yeah. I take care to the old people at home, you know, and I had to go later. The people, they need me in the morning. You have any children? Oh, yes. I had three, three kids. One is in the in college, and I help you to, to the college, and I pay the taxes, I pay the house, everything. It's not easy. But I'm going to try to do the life the best I can. I have a note, Inspector Quinn, from uh, Ms. Yadira. She uh, she failed to come to court, and she got vac She was violated, and as her excuse to come back in, she says, "Please, I'm not guilty, and I don't have money." Your Honor, that gentleman had the same note. That gentleman <laughs> had the same note. She had the same note. You have the same note. Oh. Every day when I wake up, Judge, I put it on top of my wallet so my daughters and my wife can read that. <laughs> That's everybody in this time. Exactly. It's hard. The food is very expensive. The tax, everything is expensive. And the kids, when they grow up, they eat more food. Oh, the kids are sitting there broke. They got big appetites, huh? Yeah, yeah exactly. And they not give me full stand. They not give me nothing. I not take nothing. Who does the cooking? You? Yes, I'm cooking. I'm, I am a good cooking. Yeah. What's the best thing you make? And rice and beans and chicken. Rice, beans, and chicken. Yes, they like it. Inspector Quinn's mouth is salivating. Look at him. <laughs> you like rice, beans, and chicken, Inspector I've Quinn? I've yet to have it, Judge. I'm sure. Chicken, I'm familiar with. I'm sure. And I start to cook it when I, 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 I had, had nine beans. years old. And I start to cooking. You started cooking at nine? And nine years old. So you've been cooking for five years? No. I <laughs> <laughs> and a little kid in my, in my country. <laughs> uh, you're going to pay $35 court costs. I pay right now, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Be careful. Yes. When you get to intersections, if there's anybody in the crosswalk, stop. Even if they're like one step into the crosswalk, stop. Okay. They're out there. Okay, no more. No more, right? No more. All right. <laughs> Gerald Lewis. Yeah, Mr. Lewis is present. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Get closer to the mic, Mr. Lewis. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Your Honor. Mr. Lewis has been observed speeding in a school zone at 1.55 p.m. You want to be heard, sir? Yes, if I may, Your Honor. Uh, so I met Mr. Lewis at Operation Stand Down uh, roughly a month ago, and um, he explained the situation to me. Uh, Mr. Lewis served six years in the Marines. Uh, directly following that, he served one year in the Army at Operation Desert Storm. Uh, and on, on the day <clears throat> at hand, uh, Mr. Lewis was actually heading to, I'm sorry, coming from the VA hospital. Uh, he had severe pain in his back and was suffering from a hernia. And uh, they treated him as well as they could, and they had put a follow-up date uh, for further treatment. Now, on the way home, Mr. Lewis passed through the school zone, and that's where this incident occurred. Um, in terms of the prior court date that he missed, Mr. Lewis confused the follow-up appointment with the VA hospital with the court date, given that, you know, the incidents were from the same day. So, Your Honor, with that being said, you know, Mr. Lewis has, has served our country, and we ask you that, uh, with all that he's done, that you dismiss this fine. All right. Notwithstanding, notwithstanding that, 
the uh, motorist is charged with doing one mile over what the city prosecutes for. The city does not prosecute if you're doing 11 miles over. But there's, the statute provides that the city has the discretion to charge plus or minus one mile per hour. I see. So I have routinely dismissed cases where the motorist was doing 11 miles over. He was doing 12 miles over, so the issue that I have to resolve in my mind is, does his service to the country in his position currently, right, does that justify me giving him a break for one mile over? And based on your argument, I find that it does. So the matter will be dismissed. Great. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, good job. Thank How you, long Honor. did you prepare for this? Uh, saying to myself in the mirror on the car right here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you can do that for traffic cases. When you get to, when you get to the felonies, you better spend, you better spend some, some time looking in the mirror for a week before. <laughs> good luck. You did a good job. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Your Honor. Honor. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.